And speaking of God, Jacqueline Glenn here, Jackie Poo, the Jackinator. <laughs> she, oh my God, she she apparently has some kind of objection to what people choose to do with their own lives. Why is that? I, you, you, you rarely hear that from, uh, oh, I don't know, feminists and socialists and whatever. I don't know what Jackie's uh, thing is. Uh, is she a feminist? I, it doesn't really matter. What matters is she has an objection to what somebody willingly what they choose to do. A couple of gals here who are Christians, they're not going to suck their boyfriend's, you know, uh, thing until they get married, until they get a ring on that thing. I'm really not sure, Jacqueline, why you are so concerned about what other people do with their lives, especially if it's not really affecting you I was raised very religious, and not only was I religious, I was raised Catholic. It didn't work, did it, Jackie Poe? You know, it doesn't bother me. It, It bothers you somehow that these two ladies aren't going to fuck until they get married. And you're like, well, I was Catholic and everything, and I I don't care. I I don't know why you care so much. And with that comes a lot of guilt. No, no, no. With that comes a lot of rules. You see, there's, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of rules if you're a Catholic or a Christian or a Muslim or if you're a Jew, if you're a Buddhist, whatever. That's kind of the idea. You see, there's this, you know, set of rules and, you know, you might not believe in God or the Bible or whatever, but there's a certain set of rules that people live by. It's not guilt. As a matter of fact, if you're Catholic, Jacqueline, if you recall, if you sin, you can go to confession, confess your sin. (laughs) Oh, God. Guilt about doing anything. No, there are rules preventing you from doing certain things that the church or God, or Jesus, or Yahweh, or Allah doesn't want you to do. Well, you got out of that, didn't you? How'd that turn out for you? At all, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fun, whatever. But somehow you object to somebody else wanting to do that for themselves. What, uh, what, what business is it of yours, I'm saying? I grew up with the idea and this feeling that anything sexually related is shameful and you should- You're still a chick, even though you're, you know, I like you a, a lot. You're still a girl thinking with your fee-fees. You should be, like, afraid of your own body. No. No, 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 no. Uh, if you're Christian or whatever, you can go ahead and get married and fuck until you're blue in the face. You could use ball gags and have anal. Do whatever the fuck you want. It's just prior to when you are committed to somebody. I mean, it's if you don't like that rule, don't follow it. Don't don't be a Christian. But I'm not sure why you care that these two ladies follow those rules. I, I, I'm lost here. Kind of thing, which is a really harmful way to grow up. And that brings me to girl defined. <laughs> It's a harmful way to grow. Really? Wow. Let's go. Yeah, it's got to be something, right? Why I waited until marriage to kiss. First video that someone tweeted at me was... So what? If somebody chooses to wait till they're married to kiss, what uh, what business is it of yours, Jackie Poo? Because this... Thank you so much, Laura. Please. I think you just like to pick on Christians, uh, frankly, if I have to say Please it. Please revisit the gold mine that is girl defined. Where's the uh, where's the Muslim video about how women have to dress up in a in a sheet or whatever? Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's different. That's right. Yeah, Christianity is the dominant religion in the United States. So that's the one we need to attack because, you know. Why I waited until the patriarchy. Marriage to kiss. Huh. This is going to be good. Yeah, I think uh, so far it's pretty good, but uh, I'm just really waiting to hear your answer. Why does it matter to you if these women choose not to do that? And today we are going to be talking about why I saved my first kiss for marriage. Well, it's great. That's what, you know, it's it's your choice. I, I, I really don't know, Jacqueline, why you care. I actually, yes, I have not kissed Dave. We are saving our first kiss for when we are husband and wife. I guess what Jackie really wants is you want to engage in all sorts of nasty down in the gutter sex uh, before you get married so you can try on a few cocks. Is that what's going on? Imagine your first kiss ever. Yeah, imagine. Imagine the first time you get laid is with someone you're married to. Oh my God. (gasps) The horror of it all. Being in front of your family and friends. Imagine not getting any STDs your entire life, Jackie, because you're not out fucking... I'm not saying you can't do it. I mean, it's your business, but why do you care what these women do? I'm just saying. 
I don't know about you guys, yeah. but that sounds horrible. Uh, you don't have to do it. See, it's a free country. You do not have to be religious. You do not have to be a virgin when you get married. You don't have to wait to kiss your husband till you're married. See, Jackie, <laughs> that's uh, that's free will. You can, you can do that if you want to. The, these women choose to not. Why is this a problem? I did not expect this road to last as long as it 30 has. 30 years? 30 years. My goodness. That, uh, yeah, that's, uh, wow. So 30 years? Was that a little passive aggressive? Uh, I don't know, Jackie, was it? <laughs> it took you 30 years to <laughs> find a man to marry you. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe they just were picky. They just didn't fuck everybody they met. I mean, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? 30 years? So when I decided like, hey, that would be a cool idea. And then, you know, each year like, I, yeah, this is a cool idea, right? You know. <laughs> if you chose that, it is a very cool idea. Good for you. Good on you. That's great. If you don't, that's fine too. It's really up to you. You know, do you make yourself happy with whatever you do? No, it's not. As long as it's a free choice, Jacqueline, it is fine. Just because you didn't choose the same route, you have a different way. To, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It's actually really stupid. No. Oh, my God. They're doing this of, of their own free will, Jacqueline, aren't they? So why is it stupid? It's working for them. So what's the problem? I think it's really cool that you and Dave are doing that. And you do get a lot of questions about that. And I know I got a lot of questions about it because Zach and I did the same thing. And now we've been married for seven years. I bet they've kissed in seven years. I'm just <laughs> throwing it out. So we have literally been enjoying kissing and having so much fun intimacy wise. Ooh. <laughs> you get married and you can fuck with ball gags and anal and all kinds of hairy shit, Jackie. You've literally been having so much fun. Yeah, well, I would. You know, why not? I mean, you're young, you're you're married, you know, go have fun. So much fun. Just I guess it's more fun not being married and, you know, getting getting a, getting a cream pie in the bathroom after the concert. It's like kissing. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's really none of my business, is it? Intimacy wisely. But you think it is, Jacqueline. Why is that? Things, because I can't say the word sex because, you know, that's embarrassing. And I don't think they've said that anywhere in their video, Jacqueline. Why are you putting words in people's mouths? I'm just saying. Shameful. Feel shame. No, no, no. No, not feel shame. Here's a set of rules. We really would like you to follow that if you're a Catholic. If you don't, God will forgive you if you mess up, you see. Or if you're Jewish, or if you're Muslim, or whatever. It's free will, Jacqueline. Kissing and having so much fun, intimacy-wise. Just say sex. Just say having sex. Why not just say whatever she wants to say, Jacqueline? Oh, my God. Over seven years, it has been awesome. But before I was married... Oh, uh, they stuck to anal. Uh, they stuck to oral. What? I remember really thinking through and processing yeah. this. And Zach and I even had some conversations like, are we going to kiss? Are we not going to kiss? And I'm sorry. This just seems really stupid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just not in the way uh, you're thinking it is, stupid Jacqueline. For two adults, like what? What are these girls like? Late twenties, and they're sitting around with their significant other, being like, "I don't know. Like, should we kiss? Like, oh, that's so crazy." If it's a free choice, Jacqueline, so what? I just can't imagine. Doesn't matter what you can imagine. You live your life. Let these women live their lives. Let everybody live their own life as long as they're not hurting anybody. Everybody's happy. But you don't like that. You're you're not you're not a socialist or anything, are you? Adults doing no. that. To preserve all <laughs> forms of intimacy, like physical intimacy yeah. for marriage. I'm sorry, I, I can't I can't stop focusing. That one girl has this like her hair like this. Oh, you're talking about hair now. Like this is really important. This. Okay. Right? It's supposed to be like this, but there's just this one piece. I, I know I'm so OCD for pointing this out. Yeah, I'm OCD for pointing out you should dye your hair so your roots are in a different color, Jacqueline. One piece it's like sitting I mean, if you want to talk about hair, I like the ginger look, but uh, not that shade. Try like another this? one. Yeah. I just, I just want to reach through the screen yeah. the entire time and be like, eh, just fix it. Then yeah, fix it. Right. On that wedding day and beyond, like... Just have at it and have so much fun. Yeah, exactly. That is that is the point. You never have to worry about getting uh, some uncurable, incurable STD. You don't have to worry about how many chicks he's, uh, you know, <laughs> green pied up the bunghole or her or whatever. Hey, we're all kind of new at this, so let's try some stuff out after we're married. I do not see the problem, Jacqueline. Just go at it. Are you jealous of, you know, maybe you wish you would have not uh, done whatever you've done, Jacqueline? Really? 
and you're projecting that guilt on someone else because they did. I don't know. Let me put the link. You can watch Jacqueline. Again, I, I, think, I, I think Jacqueline's fun. I think she's cute. She's sexy and all that stuff. But I just don't understand why she thinks she has to get in other people's business. It's none of yours, Jacqueline. Okay? All right. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.